Welcome to the video about the complete process of enabling and configuring discovery in BMC Remedy Force. In this video, you will also learn about verifying scan details of a scanner. The Remedy Force discovery feature scans your network for devices such as computers, printers and routers, operating system, hardware configurations and software inventories information about discovered devices is stored in Remedy Force CMDB. Before enabling discovery, ensure that you have disabled the BMC client management integration. To verify the integration status, go to the Remedy Force administration tab, click the integration style and check whether you can see the BMC client management integration settings option. To disable the integration, clear the enable BMC client management integration checkbox and click save. To configure discovery, you must perform a sequence of procedures. First, enable discovery in BMC Remedy Force. Second, request Remedy Force discovery server for your Salesforce organization. Third, identify devices in your network that will perform scanning and install scanners on those devices. Fourth, go to the discovery setup and configuration page and configure scans. Last, configure when the discovered devices are imported to your Remedy 4 CMDB. Let's begin with the first procedure to enable discovery in BMC Remedy 4. Go to the Remedy 4 Administration Home tab and click the Configure CMDB 2.0 tile and then click Discovery Setup and Configuration. To enable discovery, on the Discovery Setup and Configuration page, select the Enable BMC Remedy Force Discovery checkbox and click Save. The page refreshes and the Remedy Force Discovery Server details are displayed. The next procedure in the process is requesting Remedy Force Discovery Server. After you enable discovery, the details about the Remedy Force Discovery Server are displayed. Before requesting for the server, create a remote site setting. Click the highlighted link and a remote site setting is created automatically. To request a Remedy Force Discovery Server, you need to set up a unique user ID and password. In the Request Discovery Server section, enter and confirm a password. User ID, which is your Salesforce Organization ID, is auto-populated on the page. Now click Request Discovery Server. Do not navigate away from the page when the request is in progress. Note that immediately after your discovery server request is fulfilled, the license and agent or scanner entitlements are blank. Ensure that these entitlements are shown on the page before you install a scanner. On your network firewall, for outbound communication with the discovery server, open the ports listed in the communication ports assigned section. The third procedure in the process is installing scanners. At this time, you must have identified devices that you want to configure as scanners. You might consider one device per subnet or per geography. Also consider the operating system requirements for a scanner. Scanner must be a Windows or Linux device with any of the listed operating system versions. After requesting Discovery Server, the page shows the details to install Scanner. To enable communication between BMC Remedy Force and the Remedy Force Discovery Server, you need to create a remote site. Click the highlighted link to create a remote site automatically. From the Discovery Setup and Configuration page, copy the installer link. On the scanner device, paste the installer download URL. On the login page, enter the user ID, which is your Salesforce organization ID and password, which you had set up before requesting the Remedy Force Discovery Server. After the installer is downloaded on the device, double click the installer and run the installation. Now, navigate back to the Remedy Force Administration, Configure CMDB 2.0, Discovery Setup and Configuration page. Click the Scan Configurations tab and then click Refresh. The scanner you just installed is shown in the Scanner Details list. 
Now let's configure what and when the scanner should scan. Before you configure scans for a scanner, identify the devices and device types that you want to discover. Next, identify and collect the credentials that are required to access the devices. Ensure that the credentials that you collect have administrator access to the devices. You also need the IP addresses of the devices that you want to discover and do not want to discover. And finally, decide at what time do you want the scanner to scan your network. You can set up discovery to run once or recurrently per a defined schedule. After you have all this information, go to the Remedy Force Administration Configure CMDB 2.0 Discovery Setup and Configuration page. Click the Scan Configurations tab. In the Scanner Details list, select the scanner for which you want to configure the scan. In the protocol section, select the device types that you want to discover. For each device type, in the credentials for section, click the plus icon and enter administrator access level credentials to access devices. You can enter more than one credential. In the target list section, click the plus icon and enter the IP addresses of the devices that you want to scan as well as those you don't want to scan. Now, schedule when the scanner must scan your network. You can scan your network only once, never or on a regular basis. You have three different options to schedule scans on a regular basis, daily, weekly or monthly. You can also specify start and end time of scans. The last step of configuring discovery is configuring import. All the discovered devices are imported to the BMC underscore computer system class. The LAN endpoint, operating system and processor information of the discovered devices are imported to the BMC underscore LAN endpoint, BMC underscore operating system and BMC underscore processor classes in the Remedy for CMDB. On the discovery setup and configuration page, click the import configuration tab. Clicking the arrow next to a class name displays the field mapping table for that class. Source fields belong to the Remedy Force Discovery Server. You might notice that for certain field values, the if-else function is used. For example, the value of the is virtual field of the base element object is no if the virtual system type field of the Remedy Force Discovery Server is not virtual. Select the class types to which you want to import discovered devices. The BMC underscore computer system class is selected by default and you cannot clear this checkbox. This class stores devices such as desktops, laptops and servers. In the job schedule section, specify the schedule to import discovered device details and click start. For example, to import discovered device details once in two days, specify 48 in the hours field. BMC recommends that you consider the scan schedule when you specify the import schedule. Say, your scanners are configured to scan every Monday. You might want to discover devices after every 7 days starting from a Tuesday. To specify this schedule, enter 168 in the hours field and click save. With this, we complete the process to enable and configure discovery in your Salesforce organization. Let's now verify the details of the scan that you have configured for a scanner. For each scan that a scanner runs, you can view details such as number of devices that were discovered, whether the devices were reachable and so on. To access the scan details, click view details. This link is disabled for a scanner that has not run a scan. Scan details contain information about discovered devices, what protocols were used to obtain device information and so on. The status of discovered devices includes total number of devices that are discovered, number of devices that are unreachable, number of devices in the initial stages of scanning or in the process of being scanned. In the IP address and device name columns, the IP address and names of the scanned devices are shown. 
the operating system column displays the operating system information of the discovered device. The scan status of a particular device is also shown. Different protocols are used to obtain different information from a device. For example, SSH OS, SMB OS and WMI OS are used to obtain operating system information from a device. A green icon appears in the column of the protocol that was used to successfully obtain the information of a device. For example, the operating system information of the third device is successfully obtained by using the SSH protocol. An orange icon appears when a protocol is in the process of obtaining a particular information from a device. A red icon appears when a protocol was not successful to obtain a particular information from a device. You can double click a row to view the scan logs. We hope this video has helped you to configure discovery in your Salesforce organization. Thank you for watching.